Hello there guys, how are we doing out there? So today we are going to be doing my take on the Euro Chicken with IKS and he obviously put me over to a challenge so we're going to crack on with this challenge today I've got all the main ingredients now that I'm going to use personally myself um, so it's going to be it's going to be a little bit of mix and match it would be definitely different from what old IKS does and I'm going to do it completely different uh, probably mess up completely um, so I'm just going to give it a go so um, first of all I'm going to make a coffee um, I think that is where uh, we start from um, coffee is always a good idea when it comes to doing a video and that's what I say anyway uh, personally so Going on, and we're going to take you over this side, guys, and we're going to go and do it. So, here we go, guys. So, I've got all my ingredients out there, as you can just see, just right about there, all down, and ready to go. So, we're going to start off with first. What well, I reckon we're going to start off with, I'm going to start seasoning the chicken for the burgers. So, what I'm going to do first, um, some gloves. I don't really like handling um, meat, raw meat. So I'm gonna put some gloves on. Um, just a little bit more cleaner. So we're gonna whack these on. Hello doctor. Stick these gloves straight on. There you go. Right, the old kettle there is just boiled. Right, so here we go, guys. Straight down, look down there, guys. So, what I've got first of all, so I always get the chicken um, seasoned. Um, so, what I've got done first of all, I'll put clean film down. And then, what you can do, and then we can season them all at the same time. So, what I want to do, I just want to cut this open a little bit. Just to wash your hands, I've just got to get a knife out. So what we're going to do guys, we're just going to open this up here. Nice big bit of breast here. And we're just going to slice it down the middle there. Uh, just going to slice it there. There you go. And then nicely open it up. That's your first one there. Second one, just gonna uh, don't really know how to do this to be fair, guys. So, I'm literally I've never done a chicken burger either. So, uh, Ian's caught me out of the good one here. So, just gonna slice that down there, uh, and then down there. So, yeah, like so, that'll do. I want to see a bit of chicken burger there going on there. And this always keeps the um, side always clean as well. Now I'm going to do another one here. And I'm just going to slice that there. And then down there. That will do. Can't stand this, the um, of raw meat either. The texture of it is horrible. Can't stand it guys. And we're going to do another one. One more. And I'm just going to do it down there again. Look. Just there. That'll do, wouldn't it, guys? So you've got four nice bits of chicken there. Uh, stick this in the old wash. So there you go, guys. You've got four bits of chicken. Four bits of chicken there, guys. And then when you just finish with these off, you can just take these straight off. Just like so, when you finish cutting it. And then just grab some new ones out afterwards. Then your hands still fresh but we're gonna quickly quick, give it a quick wash just be on the safe side nice warm water and I always like to have a nice uh, hot tub of water to wash up with uh, always a bonus all right so anyway guys what we've we got then so what I'm gonna use 
I'm just going to use all sorts of different flavouring here, guys. Um, it's been a little bit different, this is. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, it's just bits and bobs how to go about it. Oh, this one wasn't open. This one's a brand new one I bought the other day. So what we've first got, we've got got some seasoning for let's try that there. Some seasoning for southern fried chicken. We should probably do this at the last bit to be fair, but I'm just gonna chuck it straight on guys. And what I'm gonna do, to be fair, yeah. I'm gonna grab another glove out. Another glove. And what you do. You stop wasting gloves as well. And then you one hand here. Have you seen that? I hope you can see that, guys. Um, one hand here, you just massage the chicken. Uh, stick a bit more on there. Stick as much as you like, guys. Look at that. Glows on there, guys. And what you do, massage that chicken, that sauce all the seasoning into the chicken and then just give that a flip over massage it oh yes massage that again and i think this is the best bit to do um massage it in there flip it over again massage it get it all white all wet and then flip it over again. Do the same again. Oh, it smells so good, actually. That smells lovely. Yeah. Uh, all straight over, all over. Go on, get it. Right, that's the last of that one. And you massage it all in. Oh, look at that. Um, the old deer's coming around for dinner tonight, so I'm making these as well, especially for the old deer for tonight. The old dear. And what we're going to do, we're going to move on to some chili flakes. And then we're just going to sprinkle them straight over. Straight over like that. Straight over. And this one you could just leave on the other side, turn it over, just like so, guys. Oop. Just like so. And then you do the same again. Just give that a bit of a crash. Sometimes, they, sometimes these pots don't like to let it out too much, which is a good thing, probably. So straight over that. Last one, the chili powder. As I say, guys, I'm only doing this roughly. Uh, that is not going to come out. But I'll tell you what, we'll leave that one. I can't bother. And then straight over that. And I think we don't need the chili powder anyway, but I can't bother to take the lid off and undo it all. All right, take that off. And then that bit of pepper. Straight over. Yes, guys. Look at that. Straight over that. Oh, it's lovely, jubbly. And what you do, you just you know, to just wrap it up like that, guys. And then just hold that there, just like so, guys. And then you've got no mess on the table either. So what we do, we transfer this over there for a tiny of it. And guys, we will let the of that all like come together with the flavours inside that now. We leave that for about half an hour or so, and then so by the time I come to uh, frying it off, it will be nice and caramels. So what I'm going to do now, guys, we're going to move on. So I'm going to go and have a quick coffee, uh, a little break. And I'm going to make the the next part to it. So I want to get that done, get this done, and then we're good. Welcome back guys. And that'll be a cup of coffee. Alright, so what we've got then guys, we've got the bowl. And then we're gonna go and do the um 
going to do the batter for these lovely Euro chicken burgers. All right, here we go then. All right, so what we've got first thing, guys, a big bowl for this, really. Quite too big, if anything. Um, so what we've got in here, we've got um, bacon powder and salt. So we've got a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of um, salt. So straight in with there. And then straight in with the cup of flour, plain flour. So straight in with that guys, straight in. And it looks like something like that. So then what you do, give this a mix around. <clears throat> I'm gonna chuck my fingers in there. And just give it a quick mooch around with that. Mix all the uh, salt and the baking powder all together. Just mix it with your hands. All right, so there you go. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna chuck um, the milk, milk in. I'll tell you what I have got, and the water. We won't chuck all the water in at once. Just slowly put the water in. And I'll tell you what I haven't got. I haven't got a blinking whisk. Oh no. This would do, wouldn't it? Right. Use that for getting frying, wouldn't it? do with all the uh, frying. So I'm just gonna mix this up. It should really use a sieve really for the flour. Um, so, but I haven't got a sieve, I haven't got a whisk. So things I'm gonna have to invest in I think. Uh, and then you just slowly the Make a nice little chuck a little bit more water in there. Straight in. That lovely jabby. Hopefully this is gonna be awesome guys, but we shall soon see at the end. Quite fit though, I think. So I think that'll probably be it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, guys. We tried, didn't we? So, that's the only thing. This is making IKS very happy. <clears throat> and what I've done with uh, this, guys, I, I don't. Um, <coughs> sorry, there. Um, with this oil in his in this pan here, what I've done, I've put normal uh, sunflower oil in it and then just a hint of uh, chili oil um, hopefully give that a bit more of a kick and a bit more of a power uh, effect to it so so yeah so there's your oh paracetamols there they like. that's your pat then uh, your batter sorry and then here's your chicken all been um, seasoned for and it's been left for about half an hour or so um, hopefully it's gonna it should be all right sort of thing um, but hopefully the taste will be perfect that's what we're going for so we've got so recap on that so we've got chili flakes sub and fry the chicken seasoning and pepper and in the oil as well we've got the um, ch 
chilli oil. Um, and so that hopefully will bring out, and that's quite thick actually, so that's quite, that's quite good. I think that's a nice, it's a nice good thick texture we've got in there for the pate, uh, for the, I keep saying pate, for the um, batter. So I think this is gonna be awesome. And not, I was going to do this last night, but I forgot the um, the baps. So I've got some um, cheesy big each rolls, as does, and it's got the cheese on it as well. So it's good. It's good. Just gives that more of a more of a texture. And we've got the salad obviously to go in there, and I've got a bit of garlic sauce, a bit of garlic mayo, which that would be really nice with it. So, so we're going to crack on. And I think we're going to start dunking these and put them in there. First of all, though, I want to head over to the fridge. The fridge, I should say. you can read there you go guys some of those what we're gonna do get a nice uh, tray chuck some of these in a tray about half a dozen anyway these are amazing I don't think anyone else remembers having these at school um, like on a Friday or something and these I tell you what these were amazing on a Friday and um, they're the best things ever I did enjoy these quite a lot so yeah I'm gonna stick these in the oven um, get that to a temperature Oven on the old go. So these take 25 minutes roughly. These uh, potato things. So I'll get this a lit up. Oh. Get these all going. Turn around to max, isn't it? Maximum power. Oh. Turn that to maximum power, get these shoved in there, get these cooking, 25 minutes roughly. And then what we're going to do guys, you are waiting for this bit yeah. Um, so whilst this is cooking up, it's got to be quite hot temperature on the um, oil. Uh, and then we just turn them over and get that going. So say thank you to old IKS um, for um, Chuck will be his challenge. I'm a bit nervous when he sent me it and I was like, you're on mate. So I was a little bit nervous when he said it to me about it. Um, and I'll just, I'll tell you another thing, I'm just um, an experimental on this um, doobie though, this uh, oil. And, and the patter. Um, I've just done an experimental on the batter, so I mean, it's not quite crispy there. I hear what? No, it's pretty hot. Uh, it's really nice though. So I think the batter is going to be quite good. So what we're going to do. Chop these over the way for a bit. We're going to get our gloves back on. 
one glove, a touch of raw meat, and one glove, one hand, but no touching, no meat. So, here we go. Look at that crouton, look. Chuck in the bin bin. Right. So, we'll get rid of this now. Chuck this in the old hot water there. Always, when I like, when I go around cooking, I do like, like to keep a nice hot, um, a nice hot bowl of water. I don't know why. It's always been my. I think because I've got a bit of a OCD as well, so I like keeping it nice and clean and tidy. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just always a preference, isn't it? As you're working. So yeah. So right, so here we go guys. Here comes the moment of truth. So we're gonna dunk this straight in there like so. Look at that. Straight in there. Get loads on there. Don't be shy. Alright guys. Let's do it all. Let's do it all at once. Let's do it all at once. Sod it. Want well, to get all the mess out of the way. <clears throat> oh. That's so easy to make mess. And when you when you I don't know. If, Remember Ian, if you remember them um, when we were doing them in there after drinking down the pubs and you used to see the guy, the coloured guy in the back, I don't know if you say that actually, um, making the chicken up in the batter. Um, I always remember seeing the batter and the massive dish sort of thing and you'd just be chucking all this and then it would go straight into the you know, cooker with the big um, uh, basket. He goes straight in there and he shuts the thing into the tube it off in the into the fryer so there you go guys that's your chicken into your um, batter so I'm going to leave that for two seconds I'm just going to get rid of all this rubbish off here and give it a clean down just in the bin and then I'm going to clean up sort of thing and then we're going to crack on with this into the fryer and I might turn it down a little bit now as well We don't want it burning, do we? Right. Straight in with the old batter. Get your fingers in there. Nice in there, guys. Yeah, straight in there. Oh, look at that. And I'll chuck another one there. Do two at a time. Right on right mess there. But I think that might be a little bit too hot in there. Oh, in there. It might be a little bit too hot, but we will get there eventually, guys. Let's have a look at that. See how it's cooking. I'm going to chop my hand in here. Get a bit of that stuff off there. Uh, I'm just going to flip this over. Oh. See, it's uh, going to be crazy there. I'm reason, give me two seconds. I've never ever um, cooked with uh, deep frying before. before. Um, so this is the first time I've ever done it. And I've got batter all over my trainer. I've got batter all over the cooker. Um, batter everywhere, guys. So I need to I need to break this up. Um, oh. oh no! Oh no, guys! I'm so nervous. Oh, what do you reckon? Oh no! Could go wrong. Could go wrong.
Talk about it wrong, guys. I'm really like freaking out right now. Uh, it's too much. Um, what do you reckon to this, guys? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, you know, I'm coming back to you. So, a little bit too much. I'm going to have a load of mess cleaned up here. Oh no, it's so hot in here as well. That's going to go this door as well. Oil everywhere, oil over my hoodie. Let's flip these over. The old towel ready. Hello there, guys. We are near enough there with the um, uh, fried chicken. Uh, let's have a little, I'll show you a little bit of it now. This is what it looks like now. I have made, oh, I have made a right mess with this cooker. Oil and fat everywhere, but they's looking really good, actually. Um, first attempt as well, so you can't go wrong with that, can you? First attempt and all that. So I'll show you the outcome when these cooking is all done. Lovely jubbly. See you a bit, guys. Guys, now we're, now we're on the um, wash wipe for the. Uh, the chicken to cook, so I was just looking for the guests sort of thing. Um, as far as the uh, chicken is on the go, um, whilst the chicken is on the go, we are going to start with the rolls, the, um, the crispy cheese rolls. So we've got some crispy cheese rolls here, and what we're going to do, um, I reckon put them in the, in the toaster, but I don't want to flatten them. So I think we're going to stay with, we're only going to go have uh, one each, um, one each uh, roll, so that's three people. And then we just get the old bread knife and just slice it straight down the middle. We will go straight through, like so. Uh, and again, straight through, like so. Make the right old mess again. Straight through. And what we do now at the time, stick those straight in the oven, um, give them a brown off. Um, which is quite, we can do that now, as you see. Grab another one. We're gonna stick those straight on there, like so, and that's perfect, that means now I give time to quickly clean this side up, so straight in the oven, see the in, okay, I'm just going to switch this, switch this right around here, got the old croutons on the old go, Turn them over in due course, guys. Due course. So, guys, I'll see you in a bit after I've swept all this up and cleaned it all up, guys. Here we go, then, guys. We're going to plate this up right now. So, we're going to grab, gonna grab my nice rolls out. Uh, stick one of these on here and one of these. Stick that to the side. And get our lovely bit of chicken. Oh, crispy. Oh, two seconds there. Eh? Get our big crispy chicken. Oh, two seconds. This one here. Bit of garlic mayo. Take that straight off. 
straight here will be. Got it, Mayo. On the bottom. Nice. Chicken burger on the top. You've seen all these guys. Garnished with a bit of salad. Topped with a bit of topped with a bit of garlic sauce. fries but we didn't have no fries I think I did but this would do so I'll top with some of these on the side lovely jabby guys hey and what you do just cut that straight down the middle Nicely piping inside there, as you can see. So, there we go, guys. There we have our beautiful Euro chicken style with a bit of a twist with the cheesy thing and the sides on there. So, let, moment of truth, though, guys. Let me cut this up a little bit more. There you go, guys. I'll pull you forward a little bit. It's really hot here. So there you go, guys. I can smell the garlic sauce. That's fantastic. So nice guys. Anyway, there's your um, your chicken theme video oh, with IKS and perfect your chicken, perfect burger. You can't say fair in that. Look at the mess. Look at the mess. Look at the mess of that. Perfect. <laughs> 